So you're thinking about moving to North Georgia. When most people think about North Georgia, one of the main towns that come to mind is Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge is a well-known mountain town in North Georgia and a great place to live and a lot of people ask for information on it so we're going to give you some of that today. A lot of people choose to buy a home in Blue Ridge as a second home or a vacation home and they also rent those out on Airbnb or one of the short-term rental sites when they're not staying there. A lot of people live close by to Blue Ridge in some of these other North Georgia mountain towns and take their families and go spend some time up there on the weekends like I do. We've been up there quite a few times in the past couple of years, maybe five or six times just to get away for the weekend or just to have a good time. About 1,200 people live in Blue Ridge and maybe you wanna be 1,201. I've lived in North Georgia for the past 23 years. And in this video, I'll be talking about everything you need to know about Blue Ridge, Georgia. We're gonna talk about things to do. We're gonna talk about amenities, shopping, all that good stuff and much more. I hope you enjoy, let's get into it. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Gibson and my channel is all about living in North Georgia. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't already. I would love that, that'd be awesome. Of course, if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, please reach out, I'd be more than happy to help you. All right, so let's jump into some of the basics of living in Blue Ridge. Since Atlanta is the capital of Georgia and it's the main city, it's the biggest city in Georgia, I always try to give you an idea of how far one of these towns is from Atlanta. So as you can see here on this map, Atlanta and Blue Ridge are about an hour and a half drive time apart. As you can see on this little map right here, you can see that Blue Ridge is actually only about 15 minutes from McKaysville, which is in Tennessee and Georgia. And right here, you can see that Blue Ridge is only about 18 minutes from North Carolina. So kind of a cool little area of North Georgia where you can get to Tennessee, or you can get to North Carolina relatively easily. I would say one of the main reasons why people want to buy a house in Blue Ridge or live there is because they go stay there for a weekend. It's a big vacation town and they love it so much they just wanna buy a house there and they either wanna have a second house or they wanna live there permanently. So for instance, I live in the North Georgia mountains. I have lived in Dahlonega for quite some time and we choose to go take weekend vacations to Blue Ridge because it's such a fun little town. It's close by, it's also in the North Georgia mountains, but it's such a great place that we like to visit often. So recently my wife and I decided to get a cabin with the kids. We found a cabin right on the river in Blue Ridge had a great time. We went into town. We visited the Bigfoot Museum. We visited the train. There's a Blue Ridge Scenic Railway that goes from Blue Ridge up to Bacaysville and then back. Had a great time doing that. Spent some time on the square. Loved it. If you live in the area or you choose to visit, it's a great place to, to visit for sure. Yes, you heard that right. I did say there is a Bigfoot Museum in Blue Ridge, Georgia. I wasn't gonna skip over it. I know you might be thinking, whoa, 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 we need to talk about this for a second. So the museum is called Expedition Bigfoot, the Sasquatch Museum. Even if you don't believe in Bigfoot, if you don't think Bigfoot's real, I highly recommend it. It was just a unique experience. They talk about the different versions of Bigfoot or Sasquatch that are come from all over the world. There's all kinds of interesting stories. There's all kinds of spooky stuff there. There's different like statues and stuff of Bigfoot. It's really cool. There's a little gift shop and stuff like that. My kids loved it. My youngest daughter was a little scared. Some of those Bigfoot little statues are a little scary, but it was fun. And also I wanted to give you a little bit more information on the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. It's really cool. It leaves right there from the kind of the town square area of Blue Ridge. You get on the train and if my memory serves me correctly, it's about an hour and a half ride up to McKaysville and then back. And what was really cool is last year we went on the Scenic Railway and they had a Polar Express theme during the Christmas time. So you get on the train during the holiday season and it's a Polar Express theme. Great time, you get hot chocolate and you can do all the stuff that's in the movie. Kids loved it and if you're in the area, if you do visit, it's a great thing to do. It's more of a strip, but I'll call it the town square just for simplicity's sake. Lots of really good stuff to do. Lots of good breweries, restaurants, there's wineries, there's all kinds of great stuff to do in Blue Ridge. Just to name a couple, there's Fannin Brewing Company, Grumpy Old Men Brewing, which sounds awesome. I haven't actually had any other stuff, but it sounds awesome. There's Tipping Point Brewing Company, Angry Hops Brewing Company. So as you can see on this map right here, there's three or four breweries just right within, just about walking distance of each other. There's also a place where you can get some wine, some local North Georgia wine, and lots of great restaurants. There's actually a drive-in movie theater, which I have not seen, but I would like to see a drive-in movie. That's a cool retro thing to do. It's called the Swan Drive-In. 
If you've done this and you have been to the drive-in movie theater, let me know in the comments what that was like. That would be a fun thing to do. Another thing to do in Blue Ridge, Georgia, which I think would be fun to do, is the Second Story Entertainment. It's basically a 18-hole mini golf course on a second floor in one of the buildings in Blue Ridge, all inside. That sounds incredible. I would love to do that next time we go visit. So I'm probably going to hit a lot of these places up when we go visit Blue Ridge next time. And here's another thing to do in Blue Ridge, Georgia, but it's not quite in Blue Ridge. It's in Morganton, which is about 10 minutes away. I literally just found this whenever we were doing some research for the video. It's called Tank Town USA. And looks like for a couple hundred bucks, you can literally get some training and you can drive a real tank around this little course. You can also have an option where you can take the tank and drive over and crush a car, which sounds amazing. You can shoot machine guns. You can do all kinds of stuff. So I literally just texted my wife a few minutes ago as I was doing research for the video and I said, I'm taking my boys there. I've got two middle school boys. And I was like, we're taking the boys. We're going to go drive some tanks. We're going to have a great time. So maybe I'll just do a video of that at some point and give that to you. That would be a lot of fun. So let's talk about some outdoor activities to do in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Of course, with it being in the North Georgia mountains, in the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's plenty of outdoors, nature things to do. You have Lake Blue Ridge, which is a reservoir in Fannin County. Lots of lake activities to do. I'm sure you can get an idea. Tubing, you can go skiing, all that fun stuff. You've got some good trout fishing in the area. Quite a few good trout fishing spots. If you want a good trout fishing spot, let me know and I'll send you a link to some of the spots in the area. You have lots of mountains up there. You also have the Cahuta Wilderness up there, which is a huge, I think it's a 25 or 35,000 acre natural area, which is a great place to go explore. If you like apples, there's Mercier Orchards, which is a huge, massive orchard, apple orchard, all kinds of fun stuff to do. And they've got a giant kind of like barn general store type area where it, you, anything you could ever imagine that has apples in it, they have it for sale. So check that out for sure. We've been there a couple of times and loved it. Another fun thing to do is called the Taco River Swinging Bridge. A few years ago, probably about five years ago, my family stayed up in Blue Ridge. And on the way home, we wanted to go for a short hike or whatever. And we we're like, hey, we have never done the Taco River Swinging Bridge. So we decided to stop in and go hike over the bridge. As you can see here, my family had a good time. My daughter, as my wife's holding, I don't think she was really enjoying it. She might have just been tired. It was a lot of fun. We loved it and kind of a cool, fun thing to do. You could just hike right over the river right there. We talked about lots of things to do in Blue Ridge, maybe if you visit or if you live close by. We haven't talked about living in Blue Ridge, Georgia, so let's get into some of that. So Blue Ridge, Georgia is located in Fannin County, Georgia, and it's the county seat of Fannin County. And it has a population of about 26,000 people, which is very small. And if you want to get away and you want to live in a small town, then this might be the place for you. In the city of Blue Ridge, there's only about 1,200 residents. And by contrast, a nearby county that's a little closer to Atlanta is Lumpkin County, where Dahlonega, Georgia is located. That's got about 35,000 residents. So you may be thinking, all right, I want to live in Blue Ridge or I'm thinking about moving to Blue Ridge. Is there even a hospital there? Yes, there is a hospital there. Bannon Regional Hospital is in town. So no worries there. So also, how long is it going to take you to get to the grocery store? Are we talking like 30 minutes, 45 minutes? Are we talking 10 minutes? I've got a map for you here just that shows Blue Ridge and some of the grocery shopping options. As you can see on this map that we pulled up for you, you've got an Ingalls, you've got a Walmart and a food line, and maybe a couple other options too. Retail shopping wise, you're going to have a lot of antique stores, art galleries, things like that. There may be some smaller boutique shops for clothes shopping, stuff like that. But if you want to do a little bit more in-depth clothes shopping, like in person, you may need to drive a little ways to get to that. Amazon's your friend. You can get lots of your stuff off of Amazon there and they will deliver. Okay, my favorite part, let's jump into some real estate. Like I do in most of my other videos, let's talk about average sale price. And the number is high and a lot higher than some of the surrounding towns. Like I mentioned, a lot of people are coming in from other parts of the country or are buying vacation rentals or second homes in Blue Ridge. And you can see that here on the average sale price of 845,000. Now that doesn't mean you can't find anything under 845,000. That just gives you the average, but the average that being that high, that it's gonna tell you that a lot of the homes are a little bit higher priced there. You can also see on this next chart, which I like to share is the average days on market, which just shows how quickly it takes for houses to sell on average. And this gives you an idea of about 18 days. So you're looking between two and three weeks for houses to sell in Blue Ridge. 
All right, and just to go back a little bit, we talked about the $845,000 average sale price, but I wanna give you some of the prices of homes that are actually on the market today in Blue Ridge, and we're talking December of 2022. I think we pulled a list and it was about 28 homes actively for sale in Blue Ridge. And as you can see on this chart right here, we've got listings from almost $2 million all the way down to about $260,000. And you can find something for everybody. It's just with it being such a small town and a small area, you're not gonna have hundreds of homes on the market at any given time. So again, if you're thinking about moving to Blue Ridge, Georgia, please give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you. And that is my guide to living in Blue Ridge. Tell me what you think. Did I miss anything? If you live there or if you've been there, leave me a comment and let me know. Of course, check out my other videos. Videos on other towns in North Georgia. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.